like Lauren London in the movie. Yep. Whoa. New, new. Where you calling me from, babe? I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts. How old are you? I am 38. 38. What you do for a living? I work for the government. Yeah, all, all the government people have been calling me tonight. You're like the third person that works for the government calling <laughs> me tonight. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. A Libra. Okay. New, new Boston Mass, 38 Libra. Works for the government. You have any children? I do. Older. How old is your child? 18, 15, and I do have a four and a half year old. So how, oh, how many kids do you have? Three. Oh, you said you had like one. Well, no. Well, they're older. My older ones, they're teens. So I have an 18 year old, the 15, then the four year old. Are they all by the same man? Two. I have two. The, la the first two, same dad. The last one, not. Got you. Um, have you ever been married? No. No. Engaged. Engaged. Why are you not with the four-year-old dad? He became an alcoholic during COVID. Okay. Extremely bad. Mm, okay. So that, was that the one who he was engaged to? Yes. Okay. So this is new, new. Uh, let's say that's true. Let's say that's true. Let's play with you, new, new. You was with this man. We learning you were, you was on the precipice of being a damn five percenter. We learning, and you was engaged to a man. Came in, you already had. A kid. Now you think what we doing? We doing math? What we doing? She, Alcohol? She, you? If that was just it, why couldn't he clean up? You couldn't stick with that man. Cause this is new, 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 new. Too good to be trying to stick with this ninja. She can always do better. Stop the cap. You ain't new at 38. No, I'm 37. I know your bones is creaking. Talking about new, new. Still, we got to grow up. Do y'all not understand the character that was new, new on ATL? Like, seriously. Young. They was in high school. They was in high school. They was in freaking high school. Well, two things is true. When that movie first came out, you got to think that was, what, 20 years ago? Almost, she was childless, and she probably look at her. She ain't. She probably was yeah, beautiful. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I can see it. There, she, she should have buried that. Long time <laughs> there, ago. there, there you go. That's what I was getting at. Fair, yeah. She got a look going. Granted, granted. However, as age progresses, some things need to be left in the past. Woo, what's that uh, Bible scripture that uh, once you get old, you you release your childish ways? Huh? Yeah. Why are we still acting like kids? Man, y'all better read up on y'all King James pamphlet. <laughs> yeah, I see y'all in the chat. She went from new, new to... Hell to the no. <laughs> to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. <laughs> Look. Huh. So what, what's she going to be talking about? She 38. All right, her last man became Alki during COVID. COVID Alki, granted. Uh, all right, let's see what you're looking for, new new. You still kind of safe a little bit. Here we go. Hit the like button, folks. Boston, Mass, thirty-eight Libra. Um, works for the government. Mom to three, two men. Um, never married. Let's do it. What kind of man are you looking for? I'm looking for a man. One, I go for looks first. People would be saying that, like, listen, it's not about looks. Listen, you're lying if you say it ain't about looks. It goes for looks first, then it goes for personality, and then what you're doing with your life and where you're going. So looks, what are you doing with yourself, your goals, your ambition, um, how motivated you are. Um, yeah, non-smokers, no drinkers. I'm picky. When you make looks, well, I, I do believe there has to be an attraction. So. There has to be an attraction. I mean, we'd be lying if we said we, we didn't go for looks at first. We'd be lying. Nah, but do you want extremely attractive? I mean, I have to be attracted to them. Like, you know. So, both, well, so is it fair to say that both of your children's dads were extremely attractive men? Yes. Did that lead you down the road that you wanted? We have good, well, my first base father, we have a great relationship. Great. Let me ask you a question. Do you want to be married? I, undecided yet. 
and okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Um, so for you, he has to be fine. Fine. Fine, fine. Let's embody like, yeah, fine. Like, yeah. Okay, okay. So what are your deal breakers? Huh? What are your deal breakers? It don't even matter, because just like we told China Doll. That's all she care about. Cannon pump and pump. Cannon pump and pump. We ain't, some, hey, we ain't never off base. So it is what it is. It's foul, but we appreciate the honesty. Really appreciate the honesty, because now we can move forward with your honest self. She said, y'all be lying to if y'all don't like the looks. It takes a sister that fancies herself a new new to come here and speak this truth. She's like, look, I know I'm a looker. So I'm going to tell you, I want somebody looking good, too. You're nasty, and your priorities is all fudged up. And thank you, Kendra. Kendra said, okay, Miss New New. Since you like the way a ninja look, and she said, how has that worked for you thus far? And Nunu got the sister staring. She said, well, you know, she said, I got to be attracted. I got to know he can hump and pump. And then we can move from If he can hump and pump, we can proceed. <laughs> and it's sad because shout out to China Doll. She's up here the other night and so many other women. And we say, you got three children. You ain't looking for a man to come in and be protector, provider, mm -hmm. you know, look out for the family somebody looking to be a stepfather nope he just gotta look good kendra said that's it yep i gotta be able to look good and my, yeah you know. that look good to me got to make me feel good to look my little man in the boat shit not be denied <laughs> so this gonna be one of these women she about to be four for four she gonna have a kid in her early 40s mm. she gonna have another one about 41 40 ish and picky there we go. Pinky and undecided on marriage at 40 with two kids. Let's go. There we go. <sighs> um, Drinking, smoking, not doing shit with their life. Um, Drama. Um, hood boogers. What is that? Hood boogers. What's a hood booger? What? A hood booger is someone that be at their boy's house all the time, just drinking, smoking all the time, just be out and then be like, oh, I want a woman. But then they just always be out with their mans, like just chilling on the porch, drinking and just ain't doing shit. Yep. Um, no, no. What's the national? What's your ethnicity? I'm Puerto Rican, Portuguese. And. Well, those are my name. Puerto Rican. Okay. Okay. Um, we know he got to be fine. Do we got to make a certain amount of money? No, but um, I mean, I make a little bit up there. So, you know, I don't want... He has to have a decent job. How about that? Finan okay. be financially stable. Financially stable, though that is a different number for all people, but... No more than 25. Ooh, ooh, damn, that'd be low. Listen, if he can provide for himself, then that's cool. Okay. Could he have kids already? Sure. Not like 10. Not like 10. Do you want more kids? Do I want more kids? No, I'm all set. You're all set. Okay. What's the age range you would say? You're 38? Um, 35 to like 47. 35 to 47. Okay. So this is new, new on 35 to 47. Um, Boston, Mass, you want him to be in Boston? From East Coast. East Coast, okay. Um, 38 Libra, works for the government, Government mom to three. Let's do the Kendra cam. Okay. It look like you're in shape. Uh-uh. <laughs> Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Ain't giving. She couldn't wait. She thought, hey, I got newly thought she's about to break the internet with that damn white cat suit on that that cream white, that cream cat suit. Oh my goodness, help me, Lord. 38 in a cat suit and a bubble vest. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Maybe it's a Boston thing. I'm a little lost. What the freak do I know? But <laughs> but um, 
this ain't it. This is a woman that literally led with looks at 40. Forget 38. Round up, easy work. She 40. And she already talking about the guy got to look good. He got to be built crazy. And she bought these hood boogers. Why? Because that's what she used to dealing with. She used to coming across because she wants what she wants. So she's seeing this ninja. You know, y'all be seeing him. This brother have a look going for him, be in shape, but he always walking because he ain't got he ain't got nothing to his name. All the flat gear he got on, you know, his Tims or his J's, his True Religion jeans, you know, his girlfriends buy him these things because they like to they like to keep him looking nice. He's a ninja she talking about, and they are hood boogers more more times than not. They chilling always, lounging around because some woman like you gonna support his daily lifestyle. Y'all going to buy him a couple cheeseburgers. Y'all going to buy him some Reggie, a little Henny. And he going to do that, bounce around, because y'all likes the way he looking to come through blazing buns. And that's all you're going to get. Whatever. That's it. Like I said, she got the light skin privilege. She got a little bit of pretty privilege. And in the hood, this woman is gold. She walk in any bar in the hood, and she going to attract virtually every man in the bar y'all know the y'all know the hood bars don't act like y'all don't know she's shutting it down yes there you go she going in that bar and everybody turning looking everybody's baby mama getting upset it's just a whole situation i hate the hood <laughs> so yeah yeah that part of the hood you know it is what it is it'd be nice if we can start casting people awake uh put them in like hot zones, you know, where we can build walls and fences and stuff. Keep them in there. There you go. Anybody play the division? It's starting to get real division-ish. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, man. Oh, hood, uh, Puerto Rican sister, you know, and what she <laughs> it's 30. She 38. She 40, two kids out the house. She looking for a, a handsome hood booger. Regardless of what she says, she looking for a handsome hood booger. She can get that easy. And shout out to Project Leroy. He says she's two G's short of Nug Nug. Yes, <laughs> new new. Put a couple of G's on Ooh. there. New new and Nug Nug. Holy hell. Project Leroy, I'm so upset you connected them dots. But nevertheless... That's like a uh, that's like a whole YouTube channel, new, new, and nug nug. All right, it's time stamped. Say it welcome. first. Y'all welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. New, new, and nug nug. Courtesy of Car by Car Before the Horse Single by Choice. This is it's a documented. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Q. He says new, new with the same old story. Huh. There you go, and the same old root gut. She should be fit as a fiddle talking this cash money somewhere like we said she can walk into the bar and we know why she up here acting like this but mm -hmm. unk because unk telling he gonna drink her dirty bath water that's why and the, the net net of it is she probably is in the top 30 percent of eligible women because if we're talking about 80 percent women blowed out where does she fall it shouldn't be too easy to easy to enter into the top percentile just just because you can push away from the table you can be all wild and wonky Five for 10, 10 for 11, and you can still be in the top percentile because you fit, because the competition is that weak. <laughs> so, Nunu, when was your last relationship? Uh, about a year and a half. Year and a half. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? About eight months ago. Okay, so it's been a minute. Are you waiting for a relationship? I am. Okay. Um, what are three flaws you have to work on? Social anxiety. I do have social anxiety. Um, communication, patience, understanding. I'd say those are the main. Those are the main? I have low tolerance for bs zero tolerance like i'm so quick like no uh-uh <laughs> it's, yeah it's, it's bad you're, you're out fast That's fine i'm a work in progress i ain't gonna lie i'm a work in progress i'm i'm, I'm being honest <laughs> since you don't got time for it so this is new new um is that what everybody calls you yeah okay um i don't uh, know 
it's like the dimples or like I don't know forever. <laughs> okay. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm financially stable. I'm independent. Um, I don't. I have a great job. I'm a great mom. Um, I handle my own. You know, I don't smoke. I don't drink. Um, and I look good. <laughs> and she looks good. And she looks good. Okay. That'd be about the only thing you just said. Because you being independent and the great mom, don't no man care about that? I'm so over these women coming up here. They're so boisterous, like men. Y'all are y'all being counterproductive coming up here talking like this. You, I'm going to say this. Please take note. A woman that acts for nothing deserves the world. A woman that comes up here and is humble, sweet, and kind deserves everything. Women that come up here trying to display old, dusty, pretty privilege, light skin privilege, you don't deserve nothing at all. The market is what y'all get. All right. She hot. But here's the thing. Like you said, is she a top pick? She pretty much childless. She ain't having no more kids. Ah, uh, uh, pretty much childless. Hold on. You shut your lying lips up. <laughs> oh, oh, she pretty much got a four-year-old. Oh, God. I got my sisters mixed up. Yeah, I thought this was 24, 27. Ma, God, she got three. Yeah, hold on, Mr. Walker. She got a hold four. on. No, not four, four and a half. Get it right. Yeah. <laughs> he said she almost childless. I said, I get, hold on. Listen, I, get, I got my bone questions mixed up. It's so over. How I, I apologize. You got a four-year-old and you up here talking about I look good. Huh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, throw this up in in something with either that's going up or down. Where's she going? In? <laughs> I'm gonna give her five seconds, make sure that was it. Here we go. Nunu, Boston Mass, 38, government, Libra. She'll date 35 to 47. She has three children, 18, 15, and a four-year-old. For a guy that might be concerned that you have a young child that's four, what would you say to that? Well, I don't have no baby daddy drama. Her father is in her life. Um, we co-parent. Um, so there's no, you know, drama my way. No drama her way. All right, let's do it. How can the guy reach out to you, baby? Well, I have Instagram and I have Snapchat. I do have Facebook. Give um, them your IG. Okay, my IG is Nunu underscore R-I-G-H-T. Say one more time. Nunu underscore r-i-g-h-t new new right new new right r-i-g-h-t yes okay shout out to project leroy y'all what what was her answer kendra said what would you say about a guy that's cautious about this four year old oh, she's saying got no baby daddy drama there we go cap cap listen here this, this ain't bad. Let's can we please paint this picture? She ain't bad looking. She says she only like dudes that look good to her. All right. So there we did. These her baby dads and they active in a four year old's life. As her man, you got to sit here, see her interacting with her handsome, good looking baby daddy. What like is y'all? And they good. was engaged allegedly. That, they, huh. Yeah, that four year old. Do y'all know? Y'all don't get it. Do y'all know what some of these women find attractive? They find uh, men being fathers attractive. So this dude come over. He start playing with the kid. The one sister said it. She said, my ex came over one day and he was in the backyard playing with our son. And I figured we would share a moment. It's documented. So y'all got to deal with these kind of happenings. She said, ain't no. My point is, she say ain't no drama. I'm saying bull jab. It's always drama. So when she get a new man, the drama go increase. The baby daddy, oh, you got a new man? Okay. Now, every time he come on, he's smelling his best, looking his best, talking. Y'all don't get it. I'm in a bind, Nate. Some other time. I really need this money, Nate. So here we go. Shout out to Project Leroy. As he said, to the sub. To mm. the sub, sister. Please. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. 
The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time in wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Maybe. Out of there. Freaky, freaky Latino chick. Out of there. She had the nerve, yet, yet the honesty to come up here and say, I'm looking for looks first. Give me a ninja that look good, smell good, so it can hunch on me the way that I like. 